Hello and welcome back to Daily Drives. And today we have something really, really special. I mean, look at it. What is it? It's a 2021 McLaren 765LT. So both on the road and on track, McLaren has been dominating for quite a while now, but how did it all start? It's a good question, and I will answer it right now. So McLaren was founded in 1963 by Bruce McLaren, and this guy was a genius. He was a racing driver, he was an engineer, and he was a designer on top of that. So only two years later in 1965, he put out his first Formula One car, and three years after that, he won his first Grand Prix. So he pretty much knew what he was doing. So after his success in Formula One, he decided to go into other types of motorsport like Cam-Am, but unfortunately in 1970, he tragically passed away on the good Goodyear circuit in England. After his passing, McLaren Motorsports soldiered on and continued in Bruce McLaren's name, grabbing more wins in Cam-Am, Indy 500, and also became the second most successful Formula One team ever. In 1992, McLaren decided to produce a road car, the legendary McLaren F1, but after that, it laid kind of dormant, only producing a car jointly developed with Mercedes called the Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren between 2003 and 2010. However, McLaren saw an opportunity and in 2010, they rebranded the name of the company to McLaren Automotive and started making their own cars. This is where it got really interesting. In 2011, just one year later, they released the 12C. Two years after that, they brought in the King Daddy P1, which is one of the most insane supercars or even hypercars to ever exist on the level of a LaFerrari or a 918. And since then, McLaren has been dominating the supercar and hypercar car market. I mean, they are going up against the best established brands that have been there for decades and they're bringing out cars that are putting them in place in terms of performance and this one is no different. So this car has two letters that are of great importance. LT stands for long tail and only three cars before have had that designation. And what does it mean? Well, they take a standard car, which is a 720, and they just ramp it up to 11, adding more aerodynamics, removing weight, and fine combing it everywhere they can with the finest engineers from McLaren. The front splitter now protrudes further outwards for better lap times on the track. And the eye socket headlights from the 720S function as lights as well as for cooling. These louvers right here in exposed carbon fiber not only look very cool in contrast with the rest of the car, but also are there to release pressure from high speed runs when the wheels create vortices that need to escape. Because if you didn't have that, you would have more lift and less aerodynamic prowess on the track. The wheels are ultra lightweight monoblocks with titanium lug nuts. So you have the same brake calipers from the Senna. And if you'd like, you can also opt to get the brake discs from the Senna. And on four corners compared to the standard car, that package is 20 kilos lighter than the 720. And continuing down the side, you also have the other part of the body kit, the side skirts that weave in and out in carbon fiber, of course, as well as the 765 LT logo behind the front wheel, so people in traffic will know exactly what you're driving. From the front, this car just looks so exciting. Let us know down in the comment sections what you think of this car and how it looks, but the most important part, in my opinion, is the back. Ooh, that sexy back. On the way to the back, let's just have a look at the doors real quick. They are dihedral doors and they are such an event when you open them up, especially looking from the back, you can see the interior trim inside and just a festival of supercarness. But when you close them, they also have soft clothes. So 
McLaren didn't really go all the way to save weight. And at the back, they've also focused a lot on aero. So for example, you have this winglet here on the side that takes the air out and pushes it away from the car. So you don't have vortices created at the back, creating pressure and drag. A massive wing that actually will raise 40 millimeters upwards and also be used as an air brake. So it will tilt up like that to help you slow down. And below that, you have this massive diffuser connected to a flat floor for this car to handle like it's on rails. You also have this skin that's perforated behind the engine that helps with cooling. I mean, everything about this car is meant for a purpose. And the car has the signature McLaren taillights. By now, they're so recognizable. And I just love the sleek, thin design that doesn't get in the way of anything when it comes to aerodynamics and the way that this car is organically shaped. But the best looking piece when it comes to the back end of this car has to be the quad exhaust setup. It is so beautiful, so aggressive, and it just suits the rest of the back. And this is also a titanium system. So also focusing on lowering the weight of the car. So this McLaren is 80 kilograms lighter than the 720S as a whole. And with the engine having 765 metric horsepower, it's bound to be a better performer. Combined with 800 newton meters of torque, it can reach 60 miles an hour in 2.7 seconds and 124 miles an hour in just 7.2 seconds using the same twin turbo 4 liter V8 that has been souped up and remapped for more performance. Both figures are seen quicker than the 720S, but the top speed is lower compared to its brother at 205 miles an hour seven miles an hour slower than the 720. But that's all thanks to faster gearing and more drag from the aero upgrades. The interior is more focused than the 720 with Alcantara and carbon fiber absolutely everywhere. Just another nod to the fact that this is the track focused version. The seats are snug and as an option, you can upgrade them to the Senna's. However, they are still improved with less padding compared to the 720S as they weigh 18 kilos less. And finally, you also have the same tech the 720 gets with the fancy dashboard that moves to show you less information on track, as well as the nose lift, which you probably noticed earlier. Unfortunately, it's stuck. Well, it's not stuck, it's locked from the factory, so we can't lower it to show you the car's true stance. The 765 LT is a stunning car that nobody expected from McLaren. With only 765 of these things being sold, it is a great challenger for your next iPhone wallpaper. The only thing left to do is drive it, but we'll leave that till next time.